jumping on the bitch. And we are ready to watch this final. Shootout the Brazilians and Uzbekistan beat one nil Burundi. So all those matches were pretty close in the boys uh, event. So the match has just begun and we do not expect too many goals scored. We expect it to be a close match with a tie fight. That was a very rough play on behalf of the Pakistani, uh, warranting a at least a free kick. Uh, the Uzbek guy was taken down. No, no yellow card shown yet, but it's a free kick. A free kick from uh, an Uzbekistan player from long range. He might be even attempting a a non-target, yes, a non-target strike, which was uh, deflected by the uh, uh, Pakistani defense. The Pakistani are launching a counter-attack, very dangerous one. They continue to attack. They have pretty good control of the match, of the ball, these guys from Pakistan. The ball would attack, but uh, they don't have too much... Uh, advantage in terms of ball possession percentage a long a long uh, cross from Pakistan a deflection picked up by Pakistani player who made an attempt on target the ball was caught by the Uzbek by the Uzbek goalkeeper The Pakistani organized an attack. Meantime, we're hearing some loud yelling and loud cheering from the Paki from the Uzbek side because the Uzbek diaspora in Moscow is pretty numerous and have lots of supporters in the stands. Another long pass to Uzbek right wing and the Uzbek the Uzbeks continue to attack. The ball was uh, picked up by the Pakistani. Uh, for now, the two sides are just trading, trading attacks and counter attacks. And we're into the fifth minute of this golden match, the finals featuring Pakistan boys uh, and the Uzbek boys. A nice pass for a one-on-one -on -one for Pakistani attacker number nine. Uh, and the goalkeeper stops the ball at the last uh, moment. Nice save by this Uzbek guy, Sergei Rostanov, is a worthy gentleman. He deflects yet another attempt on target from the Pakistani. The Pakistani are getting more and more accurate in their shots and more and more aggressive in their game. 
corner kick from the Pakistani. Another time, time and again, the Uzbek player. Uh, the, Uzbek, the Uzbek in the meantime launched a great counter and score. A Uzbek player was left unattended, left unmarked. He made a one-on-one -on -one escape and nicely beat the Pakistani. It was Ruslan Kotov, Uzbek offender, to the applause of the stands. And the whole Uzbek team uh, runs to celebrate and to congratulate Ruslan Kotov on this attempt. But after that bad clash with the goalkeeper, Ruslan Kotov never rose to his feet, yet it was a bad bad fall of Ruslan Kotov because his, uh, his uh, right feet, his right foot clashed uh, the, the feet of the goalkeeper. It was a pretty, pretty tough tackle on him. Foot there and the throw in by uh, a Pakistani player. We are seeing the replay of this episode when Uzbek uh, player Mr. Kotov was hurt and he seems to be recuperating, he seems to be uh, feeling better, so he's still limping, Mr. Kotov, number four, the author of the goal. I was kicked on the foot, he says. I feel fine by now, says Mr. Kotov. I'm going to help my team, he says. So this is Uzbek's scorer. Uh, back on the pitch. Very dangerous pass from the Pakistani. It was a near miss by Pakistani player number nine. He was pretty close to hitting the ball into the back of the Uzbek net, Uzbeks, but uh, at the end of the day the Uzbeks managed to defend their goal. We're into the 11th minute and Ruslav Kotov overcoming pain is back on the pitch. That's the scorer and the main star of this final so far. The Pakistani continue to attack. They have a very good squad, very good lineup, highly technical, fine. Yes! And at the end of the day, they deserve this equalizer from long shots. Very accurate, very powerful shot from long distance, from a left foot. foot. That was a foul. The referee whistled the free kick. Yes, another dangerous play on behalf of a Pakistani. A free kick from Uzbekistan from long range, deflected by Pakistani defense. A throw in for Uzbekistan. Just one minute and a half left. A uh, long, no, it's going to be a short pass from uh, the Pakistani goalkeeper and the long, long ball from the Pakistani side. The uh, Uzbek side uh, is sending a long ball in the direction of the penalty area of Pakistan. One minute to go in this first half. Just one minute to go. And the play will resume. We have just 20, 22 seconds left before the, the whistle. And maybe the Uzbek player almost re received the ball in the penalty area. One final attempt to strike from a distance, but no, the Pakistani dispossessed the Uzbek of the ball, and uh, it's a short break, one all. It's one all with the Pakistani equalizing on the long range shot. Pakistan one, and Uzbekistan one. Still waiting for the second half of the final game of the boys' tournament. Zoom play. 
Let's wish him a speedy recovery. In the meantime, the Pakistani kicked off. And, and another escape from an Uzbek player right away from the very first touch of the ball. They earned a free kick out of it. Pretty insistent guys. Pretty aggressive play on behalf of the Uzbeks in the positive sense of the world aggressive. And the long range powerful strike from a distance from Uzbek player number four. The ball flew over the crossbar high enough, but still kudos to the guy for such a bold attempt. The Pakistani will throw in. That's a throw in awarded to the Pakistani, a long throw in in the penalty area, and the header from a Pakistan. And uh, the attack continues. Step by step, the Pakistani are regaining possession of the ball. They dominate this second half. This is the very first minute. Went to the 19th minute of this match, the Pakistani organized another attack. We heard a quick interview from Ruslan. For now, the Pakistani have better control, better ball possession. But uh, on the other hand, the attacks by the Uzbeks is really very, very nice chest prep. Highly technical chest grab by Pakistani player uh, number three, who was taken down by his uh, Uzbek opponent, the Uzbek guy wearing number seven. So it was a free kick from the Pakistani player. In the final game of the, uh, the very crowded situation here in the penalty area and an attempt on, on target by Uzbe uh, Pakistani player number seven. He got a, ki a corner kick out of it. Clearly the Pakistani dominate now but without having too many opportunities to sc score a second goal. Uh, a throw in for Pakistani, uh, overhead deflected ball deflected by Uzbek header and long throw in uh, the ball was picked by Pakistani player number five but he failed to keep it and good. final match final gold match of the three child world cup 2018 in Moscow on a sunny day here and a, what an attempt on target from like long range by the Uzbek player very promising kick for the Uzbeks. Let's take a look at the replay. Oh, it was deflection. There was a deflection. A nice one-on-one -on -one run by Pakistan. Nice pass. Nice pass, but the scoring 100% opportunity scored anyway. Good attempt by the Pakistani. And they continue to attack. Another attempt from Pakistani number nine. Very dangerous situation. But the Uzbek goalkeeper is encouraging his defense to be more active and to be more precise in marking up the Pakistani defenders, getting very emotionless Uzbek goalie. Another throw in from the Pakistani player who are mounting their pressure, putting more and more of it on the Uzbeks. But the Uzbeks are staying firm. Nice dribbling by Pakistani defenders, where the Uzbeks are, are so strong. Just several seconds left, the Pakistani picked up the ball, but very little time left. We wonder how much time was added, how much stoppage time was added. Well, obviously, the game was stopped on one occasion when the Uzbek forward got some medical help. That was way above the crossbar. 15 seconds left before the final whistle, before time is up, the official time is up. Well, quite clearly, the, the Uzbeks and the Pakistani are not really high on this uh, prospect of penalty shootout. But no, it's inevitable. We are up for a penalty shootout.
the first ever penalty shootout in the history of Three Child World Cup. Food. Final all seven minutes penalty before the penalty shootout from the Uzbek players. Putting the ball on the penalty spot with the Uzbek player, the player player number eight from Uzbekistan, adjusting the ball to his taste. He's, he's taking his stride to try to kick in the first penalty. It's it's him, and he puts the ball in, and seems to be quite good. Ruslan Karaksanyan from the Uzbek side. He did hit the goalkeeper of Uzbekistan, but the ball hit the back of the net anyway. Sergey Islamov in the goal against the Pakistani player. And it's in two. One. It's uh, one on in penalties and uh, two all in on aggregate. If we count also the first two goals scored in, in the match itself. So two all on aggregate and the penalty to be kicked. Penalty should be kicked by Uzbek player number seven. Readjusting the ball to his liking, taking his strides. Aziz Isinbayev is the name of the guy. Nice, nice shot in the upper uh, upper left corner of the uh, goal of Pakistani goalkeeper. There was no chance left. He sent the goalkeeper the wrong way and beat him. Now. Pakistani player number nine will make his attempt a successful one too. Very accurate uh, are these first penalty kicks. The Uzbek goalie was standing in the right in the right position, but the, the shot was too strong for him to deflect. Three all for now on aggregate. Uh, left foot from the Uzbek guy, right into the upper corner, very accurate shot. Mr. Kotov, the injured player and didn't play the second half, used his sweet left foot to score on a nice and very powerful penalty kick for Uzbekistan 4, Pakistan 3. Very motivated these boys from uh, Uzbekistan. Now a penalty kick from Pakistan. Almost caught it. He almost caught it, Sergei Islamov, the Uzbek goalie. But the kick was so strong that he couldn't catch it. All he could do is just, just touch the ball slightly. It's 4 all and a penalty kick from the Uzbek. Another accurate shot right in the upper corner of the goal. Pretty happy with his performance, this Uzbek guy. Five for Uzbekistan, four for Pakistan yet. But no misses so far. And the Uzbek goalkeeper is going to try to make the first save of this shootout. No way for now, no way. Too good, too accurate. Five all. Five all. I'd say he who, has, who makes the first save wins this penalty shootout, but we'll see. Uh, another penalty coming up from the Uzbek goalkeeper. The Uzbek goalkeeper Sergei Islamov will be kicking this penalty shot. And he's so good at that. He's so good at that. A low kick. A low kick so accurate uh, that the Pakistani goalkeeper couldn't stop it. So fast it went. Now Islam will try to save the... to make a save. He, we just see him scoring. Now we'll see him maybe trying to save the ball. It's 6-5 for now for Uzbekistan. And... Uh, a, yes! A save! from Uzbek player and he is the main hero and the whole 
team is jubilating. Like I said, the first save will make it for the winning team. The team from Uzbekistan is the maiden champion of the Street Child World Cup. Pakistan is really 